whole deal. I know there's mad shit that annoys you, but it's not about you. So there's 10 things that fucking annoys me. Um, number one, one thing that fucking annoys me the most is niggas that say they don't eat pussy, but they will eat ass. I have no idea what the fuck is wrong with half of these niggas out here. You willing to eat ass, but you not willing to eat pussy? You tell niggas at McDonald's to hold the fucking onions and pickles, but you won't eat pussy, but you eat ass. I don't know if niggas are aware that shit comes out of someone's ass. Someone sits on their ass all day. I mean, if you eat ass and that's what you like, then by all means, I buy you a fork and spoon for Christmas. But you ain't catching me eating no ass. That's uh, nobody's eating my ass. I, that's an exit, not a. That's an exit. A, a, a back door, you know, a door that you close. That's an exit. You don't. You don't eat ass. You don't do those. No, no, no. Number two. All right, it's a lot of bitches out here that got the side bitch role. You know, you have a main bitch. That's the bitch that that's yours. That's probably claiming you, and you're not claiming her because you got a whole bunch of other bitches. But then you got the side bitch. The side bitch, I think she's a main bitch. Everybody has this one of those. At least, everybody has one of those. Um, side bitch is basically, you know, that side role. Whenever he needs, you come into play. Side bitches, announcement. You are not a main bitch. You are a side bitch. You play your side bitch roles and you do side bitch activities. He's hungry, you make him a sandwich. He wants his dick sucked, you suck that dick. Does it? It's not a, no... Mm -mm. It's not really, it's, it's, I don't know what to, what to say it is, but you're not the main bitch, basically. Stop, stop, stop thinking you're the main bitch. Stop trying to post pictures of him on um, Instagram and Facebook and then tag him in it. No, no, no. You can't do that. Stop. You're a side bitch. No, you stop. You stop right now, you better stop. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Nigga. Number three. Yo. What I can't stand is when bitches wear their friend's clothes and then try to play it off like it's theirs. You ever have someone borrow your shit for so fucking long, they start to think it's theirs? What is one bitch fucking borrowed my fucking hoodie and my fucking hat? Bitch never gave me my shit back. I see this bitch walking in my hoodie thinking she's mad cute. Mind you, she's not. Mad fucking cute with my fucking hoodie on. I'm like, yo, can I, can I get that back or not? Nah? She's like, girl, this is my hoodie. I'm looking at this broke bitch like, no, the fuck, it's not your fucking hoodie. But you know what your parents say is good to give to the less fortunate. So that's what I did to her broke ass and let you know that that bitch was never my friend. Number four, what I cannot stand is when a fucking bitch put claims on shit that isn't hers. It's a example. The word him. H-I-M. Him stands for all the bitches, the side bitches. He isn't mine. Nine out of ten, if a bitch is saying him, he she doesn't he he doesn't belong to her. She she, she borrowed him from another bitch while the bitch was out doing some probably main bitch activities while this nigga is with this bitch. So now she's with him, bitch. <laughs> bitch, he ain't yours. So stop fucking claiming shit that does not belong to you. What did your mother say? Do not touch anything that, that is not yours. You do not pay for it. Bitches going out here fucking stealing man and shit. Five. Yo, I cannot stand fake people. I am not fake. I am far from fake. I am the realest person you probably would ever come across. I'm rude as shit. And it's like, I feel like you need to say whatever the fuck you gotta say for people to keep you around. You gotta be real. You Why you want somebody to talk about you 24-7? Why you gotta be fake? Why you gotta talk behind my back? Bitch. Talk to my front of my face. Talk to my face. What the fuck? Like, I cannot stand fake people. It blows my mind. Because it feels like if you can sit here and talk about somebody else to me, 9 out of 10, if you're not my best friend, you're probably talking to about me to somebody else. So, I don't like that. Number 6. Yo! I cannot fucking stand it when fat bitches sit next to me on the bus. I have no problem with fat bitches, alright? I mean... No problem with fat bitches, okay? <laughs> Let's put it like this. Y'all, y'all cool and all. Like, I don't want no fat bitches that watch my video to feel no type of way. But, y'all need to chill. Let me tell you something. The bus? Listen. If there's a whole bunch of other seats, especially in seats where you know you can have space to move your elbows, move your body, 
you don't need to sit next to me. Especially if I look angry and aggravated. It has nothing to do. You know, I don't have to be selfish with my seat. But you're on the larger side. And I will kindly appreciate it if you did not sit there and have a picnic on the bus while the fuck I'm trying to sit here and go home. Yo, this one fat bitch sat there and had a whole fucking meal while we fucking drove home. On the bus. She had a fork. She had a knife. She had napkins. She had a big ass fucking container full of chicken, macaroni, and cheese, collard greens, cornbread. I'm like, yo! You fat bitch. And then she didn't even have the word that's a thigh to ask a nigga if she wanted something to eat. You sitting here having Thanksgiving dinner next to me like shit. I'm fucking hungry. Your elbow's in my neck right now. I don't understand. I'm kissing the fucking window. I'm a fucking seven. I know I'm not the only one that feels this way. I get all emotional and real weak and Carl Thomas like when somebody read my text message and then don't reply. That is rude as hell. Somebody out there that sits there and do shit like this. Hmm? Oh. I'll text it back later. Years fucking later, you reply back to my text. Hey. I can't stand when niggas stare at me. And then when I stare back. They have the audacity to get mad. What? Why the, why the fuck are you mad? You staring at me, so I feel some type of... I, I should be mad. I should be angry as shit. I should be mad as all type of hell. Because you staring at me. And then when I look back, you you get mad. What? Number nine. I know some of y'all, you know, were in school, still in school, used to be in school. But one thing that blew my so much when I was in school, which is, you know, they get the little weave shit going on. And then the tracks is hanging out. Yo, I can't stand that shit when bitches' tracks be hanging out. And they flipping and fucking flopping that shit all over the fucking place. I remember one time a fucking roach came and sat on my fucking shoulder because this bitch was fucking swooping her weave so goddamn hard. Mind you, I told her to take the fucking roach back. Because I do not understand why the fuck you have all these dust and creatures coming out of your fucking weave. Bitches, get your fucking weave done. Because y'all fucking walk around here with these dusty ass fucking weaves. You got... Flake particles, you got animals crawling out of your shit. It should be no reason why there's a whole zoo in the back of your fucking Brazilian. And if you got a Brazilian, there shouldn't be no shit in there in the first place. Yo. 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 One thing I can't fucking stand that annoys me is when niggas stink in the morning. Why the fuck do you smell so bad in the morning? I fuck some people came outside their goddamn house smelling like long day, dick and ass and long day. <laughs> Bunch of, you know the little shit you put in the laundry when you dry your clothes so to make it smell nice, the little detergent sheets? Put them shits in your pocket. Put them shits in your back. Put them shits under your arm so you can smell nice. <laughs> Yo! Here's the plan. Every two weeks, you're gonna come and watch my show. You're gonna subscribe to my channel. You're gonna like, you're gonna comment. And what you're also gonna do, you're also gonna follow me on Twitter at Billy McLovin underscore. You're also gonna follow me on Instagram I'll at King no Ain't Shit. Lie. And guess what? This is what you told me. You can go to my Facebook. You know, yeah. 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 So Add that shit. That's what you're gonna I'll do. That's what's gonna happen.